You made it this far, and you haven't been killed by sharks. You haven't stepped on a landmine. You haven't had your body torn apart. Blood is still pumping through the functional valves of your heart. And you're smart, and you're alive, and you can sleep and wake up, and don't choke on your food, and don't fall in the shower. You've survived one more year, and we're terribly proud of you. Greetings and welcome to a very close-up edition of uh, the podcast. I was going to get up and, and <laughs> zoom back out, but you know what? It doesn't really matter. Does it really matter? I don't think it really matters. How are you guys doing this afternoon? I'm doing fantastic. We're going to eat some carrot cake Oreos and some knockoff Bentons. Let's start the afternoon right with some cookies. Now, I did say I was going to do this with Griffin and Grayson if he wanted to. However, Griffin has been too busy playing with his hole in the forest digging and digging that thing deeper and deeper we finally told him you know it's like it's getting a little dangerous to the point where if that ever collapses in we're gonna like have smothered children or they're gonna be buried in the sand at the very least which is not a pleasant thought so without further ado let's just move on to the cookies <laughs> sorry about that um let's get racist i want to talk about let's get racist for just a minute real quick um i have some new information um I'm starting to accumulate information, so I don't want you guys to think that I've forgotten about that series at all. I am absolutely continuing the DNA series, and as soon as I get a new test, I'm sure that'll be interesting for us to revisit that and see how close it was to CRI genetics. But for now, I'm, I'm waiting until I have enough to talk about in a full episode because it's just not enough. I've got, a, I've got some morsels. One of them really, could be really juicy, but I don't want to talk about it right now. Let's get to it. Okay, so we all know what the Oreos... Um, are good for you shove them up your ass no uh i don't know what my score was i'll i'll put it right here i'll look it up but they um oh hang on here we go uh, i'm using this camera again because look how bright that is it's just so ridiculously bright like there's nothing i'm doing to make it brighter like i've toned down my brightness and that is a massive amount of cream by the way so uh let's set that aside i want to try the new ones first now no Okay, the Bentons weren't the ones that had the flap that impressed me. See? But this is what happens. That's what happens when you find a stranger in the Alps. See what happens when you find a stranger in the Alps? Here we go. Oh, whoa! That is an overload of carrot cakey goodness. That smells so good in my nose and all my orificological... <laughs> I don't know. This is interesting. Now, let's look at a side by side here. OK. I'm going to have to give it to you on an angle, because if I put it straight, it's too bright. They're very similar. OK, so obviously the Benton is much lighter than the Oreo, um, but I'm impressed with the amount of cream in the Benton, even though the Oreo is far more impressive. This is an extreme amount of cream, in my opinion. And I know extreme amounts of cream when I see them. Uh, but the Benton is still incredibly impressive, and it's a very similar cream. Look at this. Look at the look at the fucking. There's there's definitely like a. Oh, I wish I wish we could do a field test. I wish you guys could feel this. They, they feel identical. Although I will say that the Benton is coming away, whereas the Oreo is nay coming off. The cream is not coming off onto my hand. Okay, that's the... Oh, shit, I fucked it up. All right, let's just get a new Benton. Let's start fresh here. That is a stupid amount of cream. That's a good cookie. That's really good. Let's try an Oreo. That is just a dumb, stupid amount of cream. Look at that. Oh, don't. Don't look at it. I don't give a fuck. I do care. I want you to see it. Look at that. Mmm, yeah. Oh, it's so creamy. Oh. Hmm. I gotta try the Benton again. I'm trying to tell. Like, the carrot cake Oreos, 
the thing about the carrot cake Oreos is one of the first, well, one of the few times that it actually they changed the cookie. The cookie is carrot cake. The inside is uh, cream cheese. I am almost certain that that's what the Bentons are doing, too. Okay. When the Oreo starts to break down, it tastes much more like carrot cake than the Bentons do. The Bentons, there's something there. Not enough, though. The creams, however, are both very good. Let me try a little bit of each cream. All right, this is Oreo. Okay, good, good. More cream cheesy than they normally, you know, than a regular Oreo, which isn't cream cheese. This one's a little bit sweeter, but in a good way, not in a bad way. They're really offsetting each other. Like, the cookies are definitely better on the Oreos than they are on the Bentons. Let's try them in milk. Okay, let's try the Benton in milk. Mm. Mm. Oh, dunk it in. Oh, yeah. Oh, you love it. Love it when I dunk it in. Oh, yeah. Hey, uh, happy birthday to my good friend and watcher of the show, Jess Carlozzi. Trampy the Clown turns 56 today. Unbelievable. Where has the time gone? All right. Whoa, 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 whoa. That really sogged up the cookie. I may have gone overboard. You know what? Let's do it one more time. And I won't talk to Jess Carlozzi directly while I'm doing this. Happy birthday, Jess. Here we go. I don't like the bubble method. People say they hold it down until it stops breathing. Okay, let's try the Oreo. <laughs> there you go, bitch. My friend Jess and Herbie sent me this. That's why I'm using it today, because it's her birthday. She turns 58 years old today. Unbelievable, huh? How fast does the time fly? 60 day. Can you believe it? I tell you, there is one thing. There's one time that I will drink milk, and it's with cookies. I, I cannot do the almond milk with cookies. It just does not add up. All right. If I had to score the Bentons, I'd give them about an eight. They're pretty good. They're definitely over above average. Um, they're delicious. They're sweet. They have a few things that impressed me that the Oreos didn't. The cookie failed miserably in milk. But there's just something about them dry. The, the, I like the crispiness of the cookie over the Oreo, but the Oreo's cookie tastes better. So if we're going head to head, the Oreo takes it um, in a landslide. Maybe not a landslide, but he definitely, but he, <laughs> like I'm referring to Mr. Oreo. Mr. Oreo takes it in a landslide victory over Truman. I don't know. There you have it. Benton carrot cake Oreos. I would give them an eight. The, um... The Oreo carrot cakes, I don't know what I gave them. That's up there. There's the two scores. Oreo wins almost every single time. If you guys are loving Oreos and watching these as much as I'm loving making them, please consider liking, commenting, subscribing, sharing, and hit the little bell icon. It'll let you know every time I put out a new video. Don't forget to make somebody smile tomorrow and make yourself a better person tomorrow than you were today tomorrow. Let's make the world spin a little bit happier together. Let's sing and dance in the sun and in the rain is one, my brothers and sisters. Live life to the fullest and love every moment of it because you just never know when that last moment's going to come for you. However, never live in fear of that moment. Always live in love and never let your inner child die. That is important. Take care of yourselves, take care of one another, and take care of those around you who can't take care of themselves, for they are the ones that need it the most. I'm Jason Oliveira, and this is the Vodcast, and I'll catch you guys a little bit further on down the road. Good night. <laughs> <laughs>